Hi everyone, my name is Sibo and welcome back to Undertale. Oh, there were two Astro Foods in there. Do you want to beat it up? Nope. You stare into each other's eyes for a moment. I am mad that you stared into my eyes, and so I shall beat you up. Ha ha ha, too intimidated to fight me, huh? I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too, until you came along. They were a shy sort, living a lonely life in the ruins. They saw you and hoped you might talk to them, perhaps strike up a friendly conversation. But no, you ran away and broke their little ethereal heart. I'm sorry, dude. Despicable! 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 Human, I'll show you what real heartbreak is. Sorry I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no, you guys looked like you were having fun. Oh no, I just wanted to say hi. Oh no, oh, don't feel bad, Naps the Blook. Well, I'm going to head home now. Oh, um, feel free to come with if you want. But no pressure, I understand if you're busy, it's fine, no worries, <laughs> just thought I'd offer. It means no worries for the rest of your day. Hey, my house is up here in case you want to see, or in case you don't. Oh. Before I go to Napstab Luke's house, Duck, take me on a magical journey across this mysterious glowing river. Most epic journey ever! You can do it, Duck! You can do it! I believe! I believe! Good job, Duck. Good job. Oh, you really came. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. Ba 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 What the heck? What was that? Oh, 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 cute! Don't you dare touch me! No! I'm playing snake now. Uh. Oh! Ah! <laughs> no! Not this attack! Not this attack! Oh god! Oh god! Like the little the, the sparkly things, they make sounds! That's so weird! Is it too soon? It's never too soon. It symbolizes my inner torment, trapped here by my hyphae, 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 my struggle to pull away, my struggle to escape, but alas, to no avail. Aw, poor mushroom. If only I could see the world above. But even if the barrier was opened, how would I leave? Butt pie. <laughs> We're gonna sell our tough glove. Ball shoes. Yeah, you can take my monster candy as well. Wow, nice cream only sells for two gold. This is how we're gonna do things. I'm so afraid I might accidentally sell my last dog residue. I mean, I guess I could um, circumvent that problem by depositing a dog residue in my uh, box, but that's too much forward thinking for me. Okay, you know what? We're gonna do this later. <gasps> Temmie! I don't have templates with me. Yo, say something mean so I can hate you. Please? Are you stuck up, half-witted, scruffy-looking nerf herder? <laughs> huh? Yo, that's your idea of something mean? My sister says that to me all the time. Guess I have to do it. Haha. <laughs> Wait, Monster Kid, you have a sister? Alright. Undan. Let's do this. You, 
You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Alphys' history books made me think humans, humans, humans were cool, with their giant robots and flowery swords, woman. But you? You're just a coward, hiding behind that kid so you can run away from me again? And let's not forget your wimpy goody two-shoes shtick. Ooh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead. That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's heart pounded together. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment, but we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human. Let's end this. Right here, right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. <laughs> Bye. I really want to know what happens if I go the other way. You won't get away from me this time. Oh. I guess she just doesn't chase me if I go the other way. I knew you would come back here! Here I come! Alright. <laughs> I just saw the face. Oh my god. Oh, you're in the hot land now. Hey, Sans, aren't you supposed to be here? <laughs> Don't worry, I am. Phew. Hey, isn't this where I called you? I have a photographic memory for phone calls. That's actually really useful. H hey, when are we gonna hang with Undyne? Uh, soon. Once I uh, acquaint myself to Tralala -la Man. I was thirsty, so I came over from Waterfall to get a drink. Wait, wait. You came to from Waterfall to here to get a drink? When waterfall is is just it's water. What is wrong with you? Tra la la! Beware of the man who came from the other world. Beware of me. <laughs> Does Undyne play the piano? Is she playing the piano in there? Oh ho! Wait. Oh ho! There you go. The human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? Of course. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. Is that a dog treat? Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Hi, I, I don't think we've... Papyrus. Why don't you two come in? <laughs> Here, Undyne. My friend brought a gift for you. On their own. Uh... Thanks. I'll, uh, I'll put it with the others. <laughs> so, are we ready to start? Whoopsie dipsy! I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun! This is me. The Great Papyrus. I think it's apparent I need to rethink my life a little bit. What's my problem? First of all, I am a skeleton, which means life is grand, like me, and this piano. And second, I have a piano on top of my face. Oh my god, what? <laughs> Wait, can skeletons even- do skeletons even need to go to the bathroom? So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No? Then why are you here? <gasps> Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Yeah. Really? How delightful! I accept! Ah! <laughs> Let's all frolic in the field of friendship! Not! Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now! You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house! Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you, but I guess I overestimated her. 
She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke. I can make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? It's so nice to have you over. Why not take a seat at the table? You sound so sarcastic. Oh, you do have a piano. One time, Alphys's uh, friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy, but I admire his lifestyle. Wait, who could that be? Metaton? Metaton eats grapes? What? I'm not gonna serenade you. And the sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. Look inside the bone drawer. I knew it! You winky, wink face, you annoying dog. <laughs> this oven is some top of the line Metaton thing. But, you know, as much as technology advances, Nothing beats food home cooked with fire magic. This is a silverware drawer, it has forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks, you know, just your everyday things. I hate cold food. So Alphys fixed up my fridge, so it heats up food instead. Hot fridge, the world's greatest invention. Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to 10 times their size. Don't think so. I that ten times is pretty big, right? Uh, whatever you say. Heh, <laughs> I knew it. When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alphys built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? And she likes you. What if I say false? Pfft, you liar. I've read Alphys's human history book collection. I know all about your giant swords, your colossal alien fighting robots, your supernatural princesses. Heh, <laughs> there's no way you're gonna fool me. I can't believe he leapt through the window like that. Normally, he nails the landing. You wanna see my room? Too bad, no nerds allowed. Well, maybe some nerds. Oh. Oh, you invite Alphys to do your room, huh? That's pretty, pretty cute. That's pretty cute. Sit at the freaking table, you little nerd. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. What is that, tea? All set, what would you like? Oh! Hey, don't get up! You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Aim with arrows and select with said. Undyne. Are you hitting on me? Uh. <laughs> what about the sword? Believe me, I would gladly give you your fill of swords if you weren't my beloved house guest. That sugar's for the tea. I'm not gonna give you a cup of sugar. What do I look like, the ice cream woman? Do human ice cream women terrorize humanity with energy spheres? Are their ice cream songs a prelude to destruction? Is that it? Oh well, yeah. What? Really? That rules! The fridge? You want to have the entire fridge? No. Uh, hot chocolate, please. Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait, I just remembered. That container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. Oh, that's cute. Soda with the sickly yellow liquid. Oh, soda? Actually, even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. Heh, <laughs> that's fine. I think soda's gross too. It rots your teeth. It rots your mind. It rots your fighting spirit. Huh? Well, why do I have it? Hmm. Wait, why do you have it? What? You want to throw the spear at it? Sugar's for tea, okay? Okay. Alright, blatantly correct choice. Tea, huh? Coming right up. 
I love tea. Thank you. I even have like a, I have my own um, David's tea mug. And then I have David's tea and then sometimes I drink tea. My favorite would be, let me see. I have it over here. All right, a little bit of a tangent. So I have to give you an idea of my taste in tea. I generally like green teas a lot. But in terms of David's tea, I have Dragon Well. Dragon Well is pretty nice. Oolong Supreme that costs it quite a bit. I kind of maybe regret buying it. No, I don't regret it at all. It's actually delicious. Silk Dragon Jasmine. And my personal favorite, I don't even know how to pronounce my favorite. Regardless, it's um, Japanese rice green tea. I generally really love rice green tea. It's so good, it's so, so good. Anyway, enough of that. I'm gonna put away my tea things and then we'll continue. Okay, basically to make me happy, to make Sibo happy, you can either do one of two things. Give me tea or feed me. Just feed me anything, just food. I love food. Just like, what kind of food do you like Sibo? Everything. Anyway, tea, huh? Coming right up. Thank you for the tea. Although, normally, normally I don't need sugar in my tea. I'll take a moment for the water to boil. Aw, oh, Undyne, you're so sweet! You're so hospitable, even though you threw a spear at the, at the desk. Desk? No, table. Okay, it's all done. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea, it's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange that you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Yeah, I can imagine. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad, but he was beaming. I'd never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now, I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, adorable, cute, awesome, amazing, just, just fluffy, fluffy bones. What else is he? He's so innocent. It's just, you just, you just, you just like, oh, you just want to like hug him. I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's, he's too innocent and nice. Yeah, I feel, I feel. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why. I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with this life. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. Aw, Dai, you're so sweet. You're, you're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him! <laughs> Uh-oh. That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking, which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine! 
<laughs> Afraid? We're gonna be best friends. Oh my god. <laughs> Easy on the hair. Let's start with the sauce. Aww. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. How will you pound? Eh. You pet the vegetables in an affectionate manner. There, there, I love you, tomato. There, there, I love you. Why is the banana a vegetable? In fact, tomatoes are technically fruit. The only vegetable here is the carrot. Oh my god, stop petting the enemy. I'll show you how it's done. Nyah! Oh. Uh, we'll, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now. Aww. We add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Nyah, nyah. Uh, just put them in the pot. How will you put them in? Carefully. You place the noodles in one at a time. Alright, Mr. Noodle. In you go. Nobble. Here you go. George. I love you, George. Um, it might get a little hot in there. Francesca. My dear. They clank against the empty bottom. Nice. Alright, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Press Z to repeatedly stir. Stir harder! 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 Ah, uh, let me do it. Uh, oh my goodness. How do you keep your piano alive? How do you keep your pots alive? How do you keep your fridge alive? How do you keep anything alive in your house? <laughs> That's the stuff! Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn to burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hold right to turn up the heat. Burn hotter. Hotter, darn it. Hotter. Wait, that's too. Ah. Man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Uh, how about putting the fire out? You know, with um, something, anything, water. Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? No, you did fine. I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. If we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. Uh, oh, oh, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> I did not, hmm, I did not expect this. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to prevent you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch, all out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you got. Nyah! Undyne is letting you make the first attack. This time, don't hold anything back. Show me what you've got. Fake attack. You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. Ah! <laughs> what? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid sac... Sac... Okay, we're gonna look up this live. Give me a sec. <clears throat> sac... Carine. Excessively sweet or sentimental, alright? Cool. How do you pronounce it? There's also 
of, relating to, or resembling that of sugar. Saccharin. Saccharin. Thank you, Merriam-Webster. Always can count on you. All right. <clears throat> At first, I hate your stupid saccharin stick, but the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. <sighs> Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean, mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? Eh, yeah. Foo-hoo-hoo. <laughs> now, let's get the hell out of this flaming house. The poor house, it's crying. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with Papyrus. So, if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll, I'll be able to talk to you. Well, see you later, punk! Sounds like only Fire lives here now. Papyrus and Undyne! That's Undyne's house. It's a great place to... Uh... <sighs> yeah! That's my house! <laughs> wow, you're really fast, Undyne. Hi, Undyne! H how'd you get here so fast? I ran. Wowie! Undyne! Someday, I want to be as strong and sweaty as you. So you ran here just to be on the phone? <laughs> yep. Then you must have something extremely cool to say about your house. Nope. Sounds like you're near Undyne's house. Hey, we should go visit Undyne. I'm right here. I love when a plan comes together. <laughs> Thank you for watching. This has me, Sivo. This has been Undertale, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Liking this vid don't cost nothing. Clicking these pics don't cost nothing. What should you do with all your powers? I think you should subscribe to me. Shoots, pew.